everyone, it's Rocky. Today I'm here with my friends from FaveDiets.com and we're going to be making some do-it-yourself microwave popcorn. Now you can make it a couple of different ways. One is to get a microwave popcorn ball, which I forget where we got this from, some random store that we went in getting something else and we, Rich found this so he decided to pick it up. And this is what I usually make my popcorn in now. Um, so it's just a pretty heavy duty plastic bowl, has a lid that sits on there very loosely. And what I do is I just put a quarter cup of popcorn kernels in here, put the lid on, put it on the microwave for about two minutes or until it starts pop popping, and then I'm done. I'm good to go to put any kind of spices I want to put on it. But um, another way is to get a, ba a box of these natural waxed paper bags. And I got this uh, from a local store here. And they just look like this. They're just like these waxed paper bags, like a sandwich bag. So you can put that a quarter cup in here, fold it over a couple of times, uh, and then put it in the microwave until it stops popping. Today, though, I'm going to go ahead and just make it in a regular sandwich brown paper bag, that's just because I think that's what's available to everybody. So again, just a regular brown paper sandwich bag. Open it up just a little bit, and I'm going to be using some popcorn kernels. Now, popcorn can be very healthy and very nutritious, but you have to watch out when you're getting microwave brands or whatever kind of brands um, for the calories, the fat, and the sodium. So if you get uh, just regular popcorn kernels, then you control whatever you decide to put into it. I'm going to go ahead and open this up. I'm going to get a quarter cup. in my bag and then I'm just going to fold it over twice maybe once and then twice just like this okay put it in my microwave two minutes I'm going to let that pop get my spices and I'll be back okay so it's been two minutes popcorn is done and put it into my bowl. And this is what I got right here. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to be using the uh, Olivio Buttery Spray. That's what I've been using lately. Before I was using the I Can't Believe It's Not Butter, but for some reason I, just, I tend to like this one a little bit better. So I'm going to spray this down. A little bit of salt. And then I think the seasoning I'm going to use today is this McCormick garlic and herb salt free. And there we go. It's my afternoon snack. This is what I typically have in the afternoons, you know, when I need a little pick me up. It was just that easy. I mean, and then again, I control everything I put in there so I know exactly how much butter I'm putting in and how much salt I'm putting in and whatever else I choose to, to put in, I have control over. So it's a lot healthier option than getting like a microwave popcorn that even though it has, you know, might have less sodium and less fat, this is still, every, I'm controlling everything that's in here. And it's a lot cheaper because, you know, if you get like a jar of popcorn, popcorn kernels or if you go to your bulk aisle like I did, this is going to be a lot cheaper than getting pre-packaged microwave popcorn. And then you can just have fun with the flavorings. You can put light Parmesan cheese in there, you can put pepper, um, you can you know go to your popcorn aisle and they have like the little jars of like cheddar or nacho cheese or white cheddar, whichever, just have fun with it. So if you guys have any questions, just go ahead and post them below. Pictures, nutritional facts, and the full instructions will be on my blog, uh, which I'll also post below. And until next time, enjoy. Bye.